Hey guys, Chris here, coming to you late on a Monday night. It's like 9 o'clock, which is super late for me because I get up for work at like 4. But um, I just want to take a minute and talk to you guys about how I prepare clamps on the half shell for my smaller puffers. Um, this is my green spot of my figure eights in the other room, but um, for these little guys, they don't tend to have beak issues, but they can. And one really uh, common suggestion for keeping their beaks trimmed down is the clamps on the half shell. You can buy them, you know, from the grocery store, but most people are going to buy like the uh, pet store variety if it'll focus on it. Um, this is the Ocean Nutrition brand, but the problem with feeding these smaller puffers this kind of food is that they're just going to eat the meat off of it and their beak is never going to touch the shell. Um, and I don't think a lot of people really get that. They'll just drop it in there and you end up seeing, you know, green spotted puffers with these super long beaks because they're not really eating many other shelled foods. So I just want to take a minute to show you guys how I prepare these. And you're basically just taking something like a spoon and scraping most of the meat off the shell, leaving just little tiny bits all over. And um, you put that in first. They're going to go after it. They're going to scrape all the meat off. And as they're scraping the shell, they're, they're uh, grinding down their beak. And um, they can even break their beak on it where it's such a hard... Um, I, well, I've had one break their beak on one before where it's such a hard shell, but they always grow back, so it's not a concern at all. It might be if they were in the wild, but in our tanks, if you see a puffer break a beak, you just feed soft foods for a while. It's no big deal. But um, anyway, I just want to show you guys that, and let's get set up somewhere where I can show you how to do it first person. All right, sorry for any audio trouble. The neighbors are watching really loud TV for some reason. But um, basically what I've got here, I've got the clams, just in case you guys didn't see that very well earlier, just Ocean Nutrition Clams. A little urine sample cup that you can probably get from a store that, that sells coral. All of them use those around here. They're amazing just for you know thawing food out and stuff, having one of them around the fish room. And then our little clam on the half shell thawing in there and a spoon. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this nasty clam, because they are nasty. If you eat these things, I just I just can't. No. And let's see if I can get this on camera. I just take this and scoop out the majority of the meat. Alright. So see, I got the majority of the snotty, nasty meat there. Put it back into the water. And what I'm left with is a couple very small pieces of meat on the shell. So now when I put that in the, my green spotted puffer's tank, he's going to you know, scrape all those off, his beak's going to hit the shell, and it's going to help keep that trimmed. And I don't do this every day, sometimes I just drop a full half shell in there. Um, other days I feed them you know, other frozen foods obviously, but this is a really good way to keep their beak trimmed. And then after he's done and scraped all this meat off, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the meat in there, or I'm going to portion it out between other fish, stuff like that. Tonight, we'll probably do most of this to him and then a little bit to my marine beta. But let's go feed him, and that'll be it for tonight. Alright, so I forgot to hit record the first time, <laughs> so he's already got all the meat off of there, but you saw him kind of go in there, and um, I actually saw him spit out a little piece of shell, so he is biting onto that shell when he does that, so let's go ahead and feed him the rest of the clam, and um, you just have to take my word for it that he did get that meat off of there.
All right, and just in case you guys haven't seen him yet, this is my new Marine Beta. Um, I don't know if he's going to eat so well because of all the cameras and the lights and stuff, but he usually does really well for me, so let's see if he'll take the rest of this little clam here. These guys are usually super shy. This guy has been very, very uh, outgoing, though, so... There he comes. And that's usually that. Now we go back and hide for the next 24 hours until I feed him again. But um, he gets one feeding a day, a pretty large feeding, but, um, you know, it's just the one. He will get about 8 inches or so, 8 to 10 inches. 10 will be huge, but they do get pretty big. Um, and they're actually very peaceful. Um, they're not related to betas. They do look a little bit similar to like a wild placot beta, but very cool fish. Um, and he'll probably be going into a larger Fowler tank. This is a 10 gallon, just a holding tank for him. I've only had him about two weeks, so that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching, and hope you liked it.